So first we're starting today with the Benefit It's Potent Eye Firming Cream. This is great for wrinkles, but it also helps firm all of my concealer and all of my foundation, and even some eyeshadow on the tops of my eyes. So I love it and it feels awesome. Then I'm going to go in with the Pore Professional. It's a pore minimizer and I usually put it all around my nose and between my eyebrows just because when the flash goes off on my camera, it tends to pick up on those pores that might kind of come through. So it's by benefit, works great. This is just part of my um, prep process. Now I'm using a super active liquid makeup. Um, it's a very light shade and it's in my makeup kit that I have for school, so I'm not sure the specific name. But I'm just gonna go in with that with my Tarte brush and the Prep and Prime by MAC Fix Plus. This helps make the look kind of dewy and it really helps with any foundation if you're dry. Um, it'll make it look kind of wet and dewy like that. It's really comfortable on the skin if you have dry skin. So I'm just gonna go all around my face making sure that I cover every single part in this Foundation is going to be a lot lighter than I would usually use, but that's because we need to have certain areas of the face really bronzed and dark for that deer effect. So now I'm going in with the Naked Concealer in the color Light Neutral. And I'm just going to do this. I'm just doing my normal face look right now. I'm just doing my foundation, my concealer, everything before. I'm even going to do some eyeshadow. And then we're going to get into the fun Halloween stuff. So I'm just going to buff that out with a damp beauty blender. This really helps to make everything blend better. Then I take the other side and I just kind of pull the excess down so that it all looks like it's um, kind of one color and blends really well. And then I'm going to go in with my Calvin Klein palette and I'm going to take an IT Cosmetics blending brush and use the light brown shade. It is the color Undone and I'm just going to spread that around in the crease. Make sure that you really blend that upwards. This is going to give a really pretty look and kind of blend together with all the browns and um, beige and tan colors that we're going to be using for the deer. So now that we're done with that, we are going to take a flat brush and we're going to go in with the color Truth and just put that all over the lid. And then once I do that to the other side, I'm just going to take the same blending brush that I used with the same excess amount of Undone and just kind of blend that all together. So now I'm going in with the Neutrogena 3-in-1 Concealer for eyes. I'm using the color Fair 05 and I'm just going to put this under my eyes again like I had done with the concealer previously. And I'm also going to put it um, along my nose and then between my eyebrows. I'm going to repeat this step a lot with different things such as eyeshadow, um, setting powder, concealer. And I did this because I just didn't want to use anything thick like the Halloween makeup that's sold in stores. I always get really nervous putting that kind of stuff on my face. So I'm using all products that I would use normally. So now I'm going to go in with my Too Faced palette. This is really old, um, so it's definitely not in stores anymore, but I'm using a very white shade called In The Buff, 
and I'm just taking my powder brush and just putting that all in the areas that we've concealed to kind of brighten that and make it a little bit whiter. Next, I take my NYX Matte Bronzer in the color medium. I only use this in the summer, that's when I'm tannest. So this is gonna be really dark, so you wanna use your darkest bronzer that you have and put that all along your cheekbone. Normally, if you were contouring or just trying to put some bronzer on, you'd put it under your cheekbone in those contour lines, but I'm actually going to put it right along my cheekbone and really blend it through up near the nose and making sure that you still leave some white around the eyes and then do the same to the other side. Now I'm going to take some bronzer and put it along my forehead as well, but I'm going to make sure that I keep those white parts above my eyebrows kind of in the middle of my forehead clear because I still want to keep that mask of concealer around my eyes to stay as white as it can. I'm just going to go back in and take some more bronzer and really bring that out along the cheekbones. So now the true white begins. We're going to take the Beauty Blender with some more Neutrogena Concealer and just pat that all around the areas that we concealed previously. And we're just kind of reiterating this because we just put the bronzer on, so I just want to brighten that white up again. Remember I said this is going to be repeated many times. Um, because I preferred to use normal makeup over any thick white paint. So make sure that your beauty blender is wet because it won't be as thick with the concealer if you do it that way. And then take the same beauty blender and just kind of dip it in the Mineralize Prep and Prime Transparent Finishing Powder. It's B25 and it's by MAC. And you just want to put that all along your eyes. And then we're going to do the same step to the above area on my forehead and above my eyebrows. I was looking for my bronzing brush in this part. <laughs> okay, there it is. So take the NYX bronzer again, reiterate that step, just kind of buff it out along the cheekbones. Do that to both sides and then above the forehead as well. So now I'm going in with a NYX Jumbo Stick Eyeliner. It's obviously white and I'm really perfect in this part, but you really don't have to be because we're going to get a little bit messy with it anyways. So don't worry about that. Just make sure that you draw a really thick line, kind of going along the eyeshadow that we had created before and under the eye.
So now start out by making a small white line along your nose and then kind of just go out wider as you can depending on um, the shape of your nose and how thick you want the line to be. I'm just going to go kind of along the bone and then you want to spread that out in the middle of the eyebrow and along the top of your eyebrow line. This is all going to be buffed out with the Beauty Blender so don't worry if it looks crazy right now. And then just kind of make it even along the sides. So this is the part where we get a little bit messy. So just pull that white eyeliner down some more and then take the Beauty Blender and buff that all out. Basically just patting it and pulling it upwards and then for the eyeliner pulling it downwards just like concealer and just buff, buff, buff. You're gonna make it look really cool um, when it all comes together so it doesn't matter about being perfect. And then we're going to take the Kat Von D Tattoo Eyeliner and you can make this little line in the corner as big as you want. I started out small at first, but then I decided that I wanted a little bit more dramatic. So what we're going to do is pull that down and then make some lines at the end of our eye, like some eyeliner, right along that eyeshadow. Then I'm going to take a pointed crease brush in a really dark black eyeshadow color. I'm using an Urban Decay palette. And then I'm going to take a crease brush and just kind of buff that white powder again underneath those spots just to kind of define the liner that we had just buffed out. Hello. So I'm taking that Beauty Blender again and I'm going to take the Neutrogena Concealer and buff right underneath that bronzer line that we had created and all around the mouth. So you can see that those bronzing lines are basically the only thing that's really defined on the face. And I also take some of the Prep and Prime Transparent Finishing Powder and I put that all around the white area as well. And then we take the NYX Jumbo White Stick and make those circles underneath in three and then do the same in the middle of the eye and above the eyebrows. So now I'm taking a super pointy brush, I'm not even sure what this is, I found it in my brush container, and I'm just going to take a really dark brown, very similar to the color of my eyebrows. So whatever color your eyebrows are, try to find an eyeshadow that's the same color, and then define the white part along your nose, just taking that color along the edges. And you can be messy with this because then at the end, I go in and I kind of fix some of the mistakes that I made and make everything even. So don't be worried about that. Then I'm going to take it and put it at the tip. And I also go along the sides a little bit. Just a tiny bit. I didn't want to cover my whole nose. I just wanted to make it look like a really cute little brown nose. And then just kind of buff it in the middle. And I'm going to take a bigger brush and cover that with some more eyeshadow. Now I'm taking a crease brush with that brown color and I'm just going to buff along that line to fix any mistakes and kind of make it perfect and I'm also going to buff the black lines in the corner of my eye as well just to kind of pull it down and make it look a little bit more smudgy. I'd rather look like eyeshadow than eyeliner so I'm just kind of buffing those two colors together. And then I'm going to take the eyeliner and just put a nice thin line on top of my eye as well to connect to the wing that I have on the end.
I don't know what happened to the first part of this clip, but I'm using Lily Lashes in this style Myconos, and I'm just going to put those along my um, eyeliner line and connect my real lashes with the fake ones with the Their Real Benefit Mascara, and then do the same on the bottom. I would normally do this step last because I'm using a NYX white jumbo eyeliner, which tends to be a little bit messy but you can reiterate that step with the mascara and just put some over it if there's any white on your lashes. And then we're going to use um, the NYX Nude Truffle Lip Liner. I'm going to create an ombre look, so you really want to buff the ends and the corners of your lips and define the cupid's bow really well. And I'm even going to take some of that and put it in the center of my lips as well. Then taking the Beauty Blender, you're going to use some of the Neutrogena concealer for your eyes again, except you're going to put a tiny, tiny bit on your lips. And this might sound weird, but we're going to use the Calvin Klein eyeshadow palette again with that same color Truth we used in the beginning, and just put that all along the concealer. And it's going to be a really pretty nude pink and come together really well. Last step, using the MAC Prep and Prime Fix Plus Spray, you are all done. Happy Halloween!